Hi everybody, Miss Cedar here, um, back for week two of our project Scribble Stones. Um, when we were together last week, we read this book by Diane Albert, uh, a wonderful story about a stone who um, wasn't sure what his purpose was. And through a journey, he found out he could bring a lot of happiness to a lot of people. Um, and he was painted on and drawn on. So we're going to make our own uh, rock art today. Um, I have a couple different ways for you to do it, and you can choose whichever way you want. Um, I wanted to show you um, a couple different variations. So this one I did right here, okay? I did some concentric hearts, all right? Um, and I did them with twistables, okay? Um, twistables or crayons, um, you could probably even do colored pencils, but the wax uh, crayons really worked very well drawing on the rocks. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And you don't, you can do the front or you can do the back. I didn't, but you could do that. Um, the next thing I tried out was markers, okay? Regular Crayola washable markers. Um, you can use washable markers, you can use Sharpies if you have them. Um, and then I just started, I did concentric circles here. I know it's a little dark, can't see it very well. Um, but you could do whatever you were interested in, flowers, bugs, uh, monsters. Um, and then I tried our good old handy dandy pencil here. And I did, I chose a light colored rock for this one um, so that the pencil would show up. So I just wrote, you know, C-E-C, C-E-C-C and Pine Acres. Okay, two schools, miss you guys. Um, you gotta be careful with this one a little bit, it will smear, but um, you know, you could uh, experiment and see which material you like the best too. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do today is we are going to be creating a ladybug. Um, so I have collected a stone that I thought would be the best shape. Um, I liked it because it was flat. It was a little, um, kind of looked oblong or oval like a ladybug might be, um, or any bug might be. Um, and then I started gathering my material. So first thing is first, uh, you need to make sure that you have something to protect your table with. Um, newspaper will do. Uh, definitely got to protect your table. So you got to put some paper down. All right. Um, the next thing that I gathered um, was my other supplies. So I grabbed a paper plate for my um, to use as my palette and uh, my paints that I was gonna use. So I'm gonna make a ladybug. So the colors I chose were red, black, and white. Okay, um, I grabbed a napkin. And you guys should know all these materials by now because we paint a lot. Uh, and then I grabbed my water cup and I grabbed a couple brushes, okay? Um, okay. So I hope, and then also uh, I have my smock, right? To protect my clothes so I don't get paint on me. Because I probably definitely would do that. Um, okay, so just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right, so um, I collected two rocks. So I collected this rock here and I painted this the base first. Um, because the sometimes it's hard to paint on top of wet paint. So I painted my base and let it dry before I went on to the next step, okay? So I'm just gonna show you how I painted my base first. Okay, I chose like a decently nice size brush for that. Um, remember when you come out of the water, you have to dry your brush off a little bit, right? All right, we don't want it too wet. Okay, now, hands make it a little dirty. I'm using washable paint. So it washes right off. Um, stones or rocks are porous. So they sometimes require a couple different coats to really make sure that the rock um, is getting a nice thick and opaque, meaning a solid and um, nice, thick, nice uh, coat of paint. Okay, now. Try not to glob the paint on, try to make it nice and smooth. I'm trying to get my lines um, to blend in together, okay? So I'm gonna, you don't have to paint the back like I said, I'm going to. Um, I kind of think it makes a nice finish, um, but this is where it gets a little bit messy because you gotta touch the uh, sides where the paint is, okay? Um, so I'm going to 
finished painting this. Now, like I said, I already painted one stone red so that I could move on to the next step. If I were you, I would let this base coat dry a little bit before I went on to my next step. Now, like I said, I am showing you how to make a ladybug, um, but you can do whatever you would like, okay? Okay, so like I said, um, now if you remember, our paint brushes go where when we're not using them? Right into the water container, absolutely, all right? All right, so I'm gonna move this over to the side and let it dry for a little bit, all right? Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I have my, my stone that was dry, okay? Time jump, uh, about 10 minutes or so, it doesn't take real long. It's um, acrylic or tempera paint, so it dries pretty quickly. Um, so I wanna make sure my brush is really dried out. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, I chose a smaller brush for this next step, okay? All right. So I have my paints here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to paint his face, okay? As you can see. I chose a different size brush because I wanted to have more control on this step, okay? Because I am drawing a straight line here for the buggy's face. Now these are pretty cool. So anybody can paint rocks or draw on rocks and you can kind of make a fun collection of them, making different bugs, put them outside in your garden, um, trade them with friends. Some people leave them in different places in their neighborhoods so other people can find them um, or when you go different places. And it kind of, um, it's exciting to find. I've, I've found a couple on different nature walks that I've gone on. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Or you can just keep them and enjoy them yourself. Whatever you would like. Okay. Now I'm trying to get a nice line here for my bug. All right. Trying to make sure I get all the different spots. Okay. I'm taking my time. There's no rush. You know, enjoy it. But this is something that um, everybody can really enjoy because you can do simple things or more complex things. So a couple other rocks that I've done in the past where I created this one here. Um, it's one that I created for outside my house because I live, uh, my house number is 35. Um, and I did some flowers at the bottom. I did a sun. I wrote some stuff on it. Um, and it sits outside my house. Um, and it's a nice little, um, it brightens it up, brightens up my sidewalk, okay? Um, another one that I did is this one right here, okay? Um, I wrote a letter, uh, wrote a word, um, joy. Um, you can choose any word if you'd like. And then I did some flowers, some leaves, um, and uh, some accents of whites and black dots. Um, if you do plan on putting your rocks outside, uh, you're gonna have to get one of your adults to help you with that. This right here um, is an uh, acrylic crystal clear gloss that if you spray this on them, you can get this really anywhere, um, spray something like this on them, they can stay outside and they won't wash away. Because if you put your rocks outside without spraying them and coating them, they will definitely wash away. But these rocks I've had outside for like a couple years at least and they still look pretty great. Um, okay, so the next step, and I should have put my brush in my water container. Okay, so. Next thing I'm gonna do, I am going back to the black. I'm going to do my dots for my ladybug, okay? Now, sometimes adding a little bit of water to paint helps it move a little bit better, right? You guys know that. All right, and I don't want it to clump at the end of my brush. I just want enough on there. And then I'm gonna start drawing circles, okay? And like I said, I did a, I did a ladybug and it's red, but you can use your imagination. You can make whatever you'd like. You can make a purple ladybug. You can make, um, there's a lot of different cool ideas. So some of you may have done some sketches to prepare for this. Um, you know, finding the rock that fits your idea or your vision is helpful. You know, sometimes flat rocks um, help give you a really nice surface to work on but some rocks are a little bit more funky and may have maybe rounded or edges and you can utilize them in your design as well. Okay. All 
Let's see. All right, pretty cool. All right, next. Um, the next thing I want to do is give our ladybug some eyes. All right, so I wash my brush out. I'm going in, so I wash my brush out real good so there's no more black on my brush. Washed it and dried it off. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to draw two circles. Now I, the dr black may not be completely dry. It's, it is nice to wait, um, but just work lightly and that'll make sure that the, um, it doesn't, combine together the black and the white because what happens when you combine black and white what color do you get i hope you said gray all righty one all right you can see that it is coming through a little bit but i can always go back and add another layer okay all right so i'm just gonna let that sit there for a little bit all right my little guy's getting there right um, now, if you've ever seen a ladybug up close, what is, what those, um, the red parts are with the black dots, that's their wings actually, okay, if you've ever seen them fly away, um, so it's not like a solid back or anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give our little buddy here a little line down the middle of his back, okay, I kind of left a space there with my dots. So I have a very little bit of paint on my brush, if you can see that, because um, I don't want my line to be real thick. I don't want it to overtake my dots, okay? So I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna try and make it straight, as straight as possible. Okay, I'm gonna go, so you can see um, that I started to lose some paint there at the end. Ooh, didn't wanna do that. Um, started to lose some paint there at the end so i'm going to go back in over with that um go back in with the black and make that a little bit um darker you may hear my children in the back <laughs> making lots of noise they are good at that for sure they are for sure. They are playing. They started, uh, they are playing, they started watching the show Wild Kratz. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but they love it. And they have, they go on adventures and find different animals. It's a pretty cool show. Um, okay. I had an extra little dot there. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So now I need to finish my ladybug's eyeballs. I already have black on my brush, so once again, I'm just going to put a little bit on the end because I just want a little dot in that white spot to give, finish the eyeballs off, okay? Let's see. Oop, hold on. Now, the white is still a little bit... The white is still a little bit wet. So I'm going to be very careful when I do this. Let's see if that's going to work. A little bit could be better but that's okay I can always go back in when it dries thank you for your patience <laughs> okay I'm gonna go back onto this guy here I'm gonna turn it to me so I can see a little bit better All right. All right. Alrighty, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, you can see my little ladybug. All right, um, pretty simple um, procedure to make your ladybug or to make any bug. And it's fun and you can put it in your garden or wherever you like. Now, as a reminder, like I said before, um, if you do wanna put them outside, this is helpful. Um, really, I think any uh, acrylic lacquer will work. Um, the gloss does give it a nice shine. Um, but this is, uh, your adults will have to help you with anything to do with this. Okay, um, just real quick. Hello again. Um, okay, well, uh, I hope you guys, I can't wait to see your rocks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy making some rocks with, uh, with, um, your families. Um, please 
try different materials. Don't feel like you have to use the paint. If you have crayons or twistables, try these out. They were a lot of fun and you have a lot of good control with them, uh, which was nice. Markers um, were a little bit harder um, just because the, like I said, the surface is a little bit porous, okay? And it makes it darker, but still kind of cool. And the pencils, um, it definitely works. It definitely works on there. But like I said, be careful because you don't want it to smear, okay? Um, all right. Oh, and I wanted to show you some other rocks that I did a long time ago, but just some other ideas. Um, the Defit Rock, okay? Um, a nice oblong or oval-like shape. You can get a nice big word on in there. Once again, you got to make sure that your different layers are dry. Um, I did an American flag, you can see. Pretty cool there, simple enough. I um, only need three colors for that one. Um, and you can see it's not really like a perfect square or anything, but it kind of works still, okay? Um, and then this guy right here, uh, I believe we did for Labor Day, thanking our troops um, a little thank you. And we put these out in the park for um, people to find. All right, so uh, thank you guys so much for checking it out. Um, if you didn't get a chance to check out Scribble Stones last week's book that I read, please go back and look at it. Uh, it's a pretty fun book. Um, I hope we can read some more of uh, Diane Albers, uh, books later on. All right, everybody. I miss you. I hope you're all stay staying safe and I hope to, uh, see you guys soon.